Hi everyone, my name is Thomas and I'm here to talk about how to relink textures in 3ds Max. So the kit that we're using today is the Kitbash 3D Utopia kit. And uh, let's go open that up. Uh, let's see, we have to go to my Kitbash 3D directory here. And I have uh, the kit that I'm using today will be for Octane. It doesn't matter if it's Octane, Redshift, Arnold, or any other render engine. The ring linking texture process is still the same. So let's open that up. Okay, so now the kit is open. Let's uh, let's maximize this window here by pressing Alt W. So it's using a relative path system to try to see if your textures are there. And we didn't get that error message in the beginning. So I'm assuming that the textures are, are already linked up, which is not a good demonstration here. So what, what we're gonna do is if it is linked up, we're just gonna go and move that directory somewhere else. So I can show you how the relinking process work. So let's uh, let's zoom in here. You see, yeah, it looks like we do have textures right now. So okay, so I'm gonna go to the directory where we have this um, model and move the texture directory somewhere else. Here's my Utopia directory, 3ds Max, Octane, and this is the folder where all the textures are located. So I am going to move that to the desktop and try again. Now, you never want to kind of work off the desktop unless it's just for testing purposes. But, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. It's not good practice to start saving stuff to your desktop. Okay, so I'm going to reload this. So I'm going to reset everything here. And reload the same scene. Okay, this is more like it. As you can see, missing external files. So it's looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 texture files that are missing right now. So we're just going to go continue. And now we have our scene loaded up again. Maximize the window. Zoom in. Let's open the Octane viewport. Okay. See, no textures attached. It's all dark. Now, how do we relink the textures? And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go to File, Reference, Asset Tracking Toggle. And we're going to look at these textures, which were the 11 textures that were missing before. And you can see that it says File Missing. So how do we locate it? We right click, Set Path. And now we have to define the path where it's located. If you remember, we saved it to the desktop. Get bash 3D, and here are the 11 texture files. Just say use this path for these 11 textures. Click OK. And now it looks like uh, it's everything's OK. So we're going to reload this now. I'm going to just shut it down and open it up again. And here you go. All the textures are there. Get a little closer. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's all there. Let's uh, let's drag out a plane and make it look a little bit better. And drop in the daylight system. And there you go. Okay, I hope that was useful for everyone. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.